after so many so many requests today I like to share with you on Zhang Zhuang uh, if you look at all the YouTubes and books out there none will share what I'm going to tell you and this is what it is in the practice okay so uh, be really careful and listen carefully for what I'm saying okay so when we practice Chinese martial arts or Chinese healing art, we need to first understand three things. One is what is the purpose, the second what is the theory behind it, and the third what is the process or how to train it. Without these three, we actually don't know what it is we are doing. So in Chinese, if you say Zhan Zhuang is called Zhuang Gong, Okay, there is the purpose of it. The second, there's Gong Li. Okay, the theory about it, the theory behind it. The third is Gong Fa, the process of how to practice it. Okay, you need to know this three things. Now, Zhan Zhuang. What is Zhan Zhuang for? Is it just standing there? No. Zhan Zhuang is for entering state physiological state so what do I mean? meaning it is like entering into sleep sleep is a physiological state okay so Zhan Zhuang is entering into the state so that the body get back to the self resonance state or self circulation state so that it be able to first reset itself repair itself or be able to fine tune the awareness of the body it is like when you go to sleep the body repair itself that is what Zhan Zhuang for okay so if any Zhan Zhuang not be able to enter the state and do not know about it is about entering the state, forget about it. Because it really doesn't do what it is. It just mimic posture. So if you read the Yi Kam Shirin Hao Kin Kit, the first quit is say that Ji Yi Hui Shen Ping Jian Dang in Mandarin. It meaning that in, in English, direct translations from experience, it means that collect your thought, union with your spirit, standing in the parallel or equal shoulder stance. Meaning it has to enter the state before it practices you in time. People like to argue with me. They can do Honga, they can do different arts, and they, they say that uh, they're doing the same Shilin Tao as what I, what, I, what, what I say, or what I, what I share. No. Why? It is in the first quit of this Yikam Shilin Tao, it tells you directly already, you need to enter the state. This is from, inherit from the Er Minister Er Zhuang. The first quit. It tell you directly. If you don't enter it, you will not get to different level. Period. You will not be able to handle the body. Okay? So it's enter into the state. Okay, now. You guys heard about me talk about the uh, the uh, the six core elements. So the first four core elements, the the uh, body, the mind, the breathing and the chi flow, the first four have the thin state. So one, when one do the Zhan Zhuang, be able to identify this 13 state and enter into it. So a real Zhan Zhuang is like what? It's like sleeping in conscious, weightless. Okay? So for example, the body reaches the light, the light state, the mind in the peaceful state, the breathing into the full body breathing state. The Qi flow, it flow in the, uh, the 12 Madirian's nature flow state. 
Here I like to tell you one thing. Be really careful. We Wing Chun is really lucky. Our system based on the Yikang stream of writing is the Qi flow is following the natural 12 meridian. This is parallel with the traditional Chinese medicines. Chinese medicine theory can use with it. And there's another type of the Qi flow where a lot of people they call it the Hun Yan Qi or Fuzzy Qi where they say, oh, I want to go Qi flow this way, go flow that way, whole bunch of stuff. Those are not accord to Chinese medicine. Those are in gray area. It can dis disrupt or cause trouble with the natural 12 meter median flow. So we Wing Chun is very lucky that our system is designed that way by our ancestor. Okay? This has to remember. So saying this, when we do Zhan Zhuang, it looks simple, but it's entering that 13th state. And it stay there. Either to let it balance itself, let it fine-tune itself, recover itself, or to get into the deeper refinement or deeper awareness of different parts of the body. That is the key of implementing what the Queen Chris said, defeat the enemy within the split of an inch. Because they are so sensitive there, like their body is placing or stick with the, uh, thousands of sensors in the body. So they are so sensitive and like intelligent robots. Okay? So that is what it is. When you do Zhan Zhuang. Now, so how is this 13th state uh, related to the fourth flow? Well, the Chinese have continuously to say one word, which is everybody talk about it today, but they do not explain what it is, and most do not know what it is. That term is called Qi Jing. Qi Jing. For us, we translate it as force flow and qi flow. So what is this about? It means, remember we talked about when we get into the uh, 13th state, the Madurian flow, the, 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 the qi flow, the Madurian flow naturally, the jing is actually flowing in the same path at will when we evoke it up and down. So the rule of thumb of the 12 Madurian flow is the yin flow up, the yang flowing down from the head. And when they, uh, when you heard about what in Wing Chun we call this uh, force come up from ground, it actually travel from the yin side. When you take it, travel from the yang side. That is the beginning. Okay, in advance there's a different point, but that's the beginning. So the 13th state is actually parallel in pair with the forceful play. Okay? So that's one thing. The second thing is, you talk about a lot of time people ask me, Oh, you talk this thing is good, but can it uh, 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 works under pressure? I usually smile with this thing. Why? Because this Zhan Zhuang get into the 13th state is ready for you, prepare for you to be able to handle things or handle pressure as what we say. So how to handle pressure? Be able to switch state. Like a car, if you're going like this way, it doesn't work, you go this way, going this way. That is be able to handling pressure. So you go to the body. If the body needs to switch state, it be able to switch. The breathing, the mind, the chi flow, it be able to switch. And this capability, make one is very adaptive. Thus, it be able, it most fundamental, be able to take pressure because it be able to transform and adaptively switch state. But if you don't have this, you have to be brute force it. 
and that create tensions. Okay, so this is what it is, the secret of the Zhang Zhuang here. The last thing I want to talk to you is this. This Zhang Zhuang, don't do it. Never do that. Why? Because before you can enter the 13th state and so forth, you do that, you stuck up your shoulder blade area, your neck area, your head area. You prolong it whole like that, all the upper back and the head is stuck. It can cause stroke. Okay? And you look at the people who do Zhang Zhuang, their shoulder blade, their upper back, their shoulder all tense up. How is it supposed to get the, the chi flow up and down the body naturally? How is it supposed to uh, get the uh, force flow up and down? How is one be able to sing like soprano or bass, you know, have resonance every part of your body? They can. So, don't say, oh, because this internal art practice this. I want to practice this is chico. That is chico. This is called damaging the body. Am I say that so? No. Go go check in China. The real practitioner, they, they know it. They can tell you that. And they don't even practice the what? They are using yi or intention to uh, get the force or the, 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 the qi to flow this way, flow that way, stuff. Why? You violate the 12 Magyarians flow, you're looking for trouble. Okay? So, uh, this is what I want to share with you today. Don't do this. Do what, if, you, if we are Wing Chuner, do what is said in the Wing Chun Kun Kit 1. Put it down there, losing up and everything, enter into the state. That is call, call back your thought, your thinking, union with the spirit, or your awareness, in this nature so the stand. So you, you stand there, you enter, it's like you're sleeping, your body is waving, because it's a whole body alive, it's not hanging there, uh, tied up, no. Why? Because your lung, the diaphragm is pumping up and down, and your body weight is changing. That's real Zanjuang. So don't just mimic this, mimic that, and don't know what the heck it is. Okay, so today I'd like to uh, share with you this. Think about it, okay?